It's been a while since I've done one of these predictions, but I think it's time to do one again. What is coming in the next update for Path of Titans, or, well, a prediction of some sort. But before I get into that, let me know what your predictions are in the comments, and let's see who is closer to the correct answer. So, let's get right to it. This one is a given, and it's something that I've predicted now about twice, and this is coming to be my third prediction for this feature. So I'm either going free for free with the amount of times I'm wrong here, or I'm finally about to be correct, and you know, that's the way with predictions. However, my thoughts are that the replay mode will be coming to the game in the next update. Now, this is mainly because that this was shown in the Night Stalkers update dev blog, which is almost three months old now and when they said that they said we are also working on releasing the replay tool an awesome way to record videos of path of titans from a more cinematic perspective they then go into some information about the mode which is quite broken down and i broke it down all in a video that's on the screen now so i definitely recommend you check it out if you're interested in the replay mode tool that being said I have high hopes for this tool. In a recent screenshot, or in the recent screenshot that was shared in the Night Terrors update or the Night Stalker update dev blog, it looks very well polished and looks like it's very close to some form of stage of release. And that's why I think it's almost there, because realistically, all it needs to be done is problems that maybe if there's some bugs or whatever, those need to be troubleshooted, and then it's pretty much ready to go by the looks of it. But it does look really cool, and this looks a lot more fleshed out than the first iteration of this tool that was shared back in. In December. If it is, I expect it to arrive as one of the next core updates in the next upcoming update. And while the July update wasn't the biggest in the world, but it was quite big, that update didn't really bring in any new features. It was just more new abilities, not like drastic changes. So I think that this will be one of the core features of the next update for the game because we've had a couple of abilities updates. Now it's kind of time for some new content that's a lot more different. It's quite surprising that we haven't seen any of these on the PTB yet or the public test branch for the game, which makes me think that these won't be the core feature of the next update for the game, or I'll be terribly wrong and we'll start to see a bunch of new stuff come to the public test branch soon, but I only think there'll be a couple new abilities that will be coming to the game, and I feel like these are ones that some that have been mentioned in that Night Stalker dev blog. Now we have two that I want to mention, and that is the Deinonychus Slicer ability and the Metriocanthosaurus Toxic Stream ability as well. Essentially, Slicer allows you to rip off an edible meat chunk from your prey while they are still alive. And the Toxic Scream is a scream that will increase your outgoing venom damage for 10 seconds. And in my eyes, because these haven't came in any upcoming updates for the game just yet, we had the Night Stalkers update and they're mentioned to be coming soon. And then we had the new update the july update which brought pretty much most of those abilities like the concavenator ripping kick the eo triceratops stampede and kentrosaurus lone survivor among other things but then we didn't get that metriocanthosaurus toxic scream and the deinonychus slicer so i think these two abilities will start to be dropped into the public test branch soon and then eyed up to being the next update for the game however i think these will be the core abilities i think the other ones if there are any other abilities that will be coming will just be some of the universal abilities going to different dinosaurs that are already in the game and that's pretty much that. This one I genuinely think is going to be one of the biggest and core features of the update because this I think is one of the most important things that needs to be updated in Path of Titans and that is the lag fixes. Now this is something that I dived into recently in a video where I explored tick rates and all the jazz that's to do with the lag issues that the game is experiencing and to be fair this issue is only getting worse and worse if you look at the top list of servers the majority of them have really really low tick rates and it's not even that surprising shocking because a lot of these servers actually also have really good hardware like my server has incredibly low tick rates however the hardware is really good we've got the latest cpus and all that jazz which allows it to be quite a strong server but 
somehow fails at the tick rate side. That being said, lately the developers have been fixing this lag issue on the game and they're approaching it and looking into it with running a 200 player stress test server. This 200 player server allows the developers to investigate what happens to the tick rate and server performance when the game is over 100 players or when a server is over 100 or close to 100 players because it's always that threshold when it goes over that or it gets near that tick rate and lag just seems to get worse and worse tick rate drops drastically lag shoots up in terms of problems but then when it's lower than that it's all fine and dandy that being said this is an issue that's becoming worse and worse so i really hope this is going to be a top priority in the next update in fact i think this will be a top priority in the next update for the game and i feel like this is something that they're investigating and it's probably going to be one of those things that is a big push for the next update for path of titans and hopefully even though it might not be properly fixed we still see some fix for it and it should be all fine there if you are interested in the tick rate issue i do recommend you check out this video that i made it outlined the whole thing from what tick rate is what causes the issues and yeah giving a little bit of a backstory there on why the game is lagging quite a bit and finally i really hope this is the time because it's almost been 10 months since a new creature has been released to the game and so yeah now i think we're about to see two new creatures come to the game not just one and look this is a very bold prediction because that being said i've always held back from referring new creatures or predicting new creatures to the game in my last two predictions and a lot of people were predicting them in the comments and it never seemed to happen but now i'm putting down the hammer and predicting Urinosaurus and Hatsigopteryx being the next two creatures to come to the game. As I said, the last two updates haven't featured the new dinosaurs. In fact, all the updates this year haven't featured new dinosaurs. The last update we got that got new playables was the Gondwar release update, which got Kaiwekia and Phalacidromius. And then before that, the couple weeks before, we got Pycnomosaurus and Pachycephalosaurus. The reason why I think these two creatures will be the ones that are releasing soon is because these ones are sat as the coming soon for almost 10 months now in the store so it's likely that they will be coming my idea here is that the update will be quite a large one new replay tool lag fixes and then two new playables to come with it alongside a handful of abilities and this is why i think we might be seeing these stuff coming because well the last two updates we saw a lot of stuff coming to the public test branch quickly after the previous update was released and that was to show that more abilities are coming more features are coming that are coming soon on the public test branch however after the latest july update that has not been the case we have not seen any new features going into the public test branch just server performance things and that makes me think that server performance is top priority but that also makes me think that the focus of the next update isn't something that we can test it's something that is secret something that qa testers will be testing and not the general public otherwise it may ruin a surprise and that's why i think it's the replay mode and new creatures because these are two big features that don't generally or wouldn't generally have the player base play and test it until it's ready to release and it releases so that's my predictions there and that's why i think we could be seeing that let me know what your predictions are in the comments down below i'd love to know what you think do you think there'll be new playables coming to the game do you think there'll be some new creatures do you think there'll be new tools lag fixes new abilities let me know what you think will be coming in the next update for path of times and most importantly when do you think it will come i personally think we won't see this major update until september i think this is more a september october update but yeah that's my thoughts there i don't think we'll be seeing a major update in august if we do that'll be incredible i really doubt it considering we're just off the back of the july update anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed this one let me know your thoughts and your predictions in the comments down below but yeah i'll see you all in the next one have a great day peace